um I don't know I, I don't know if I should be doing this to be honest <sighs> okay so I'm just gonna like forget the intro I'm just gonna get into this video because I feel like me doing the intro I'm just not myself because I know about that see what I mean okay preparing for this video I felt quite confident and I felt like, yeah, this is gonna be an easy video to do. But now that I'm actually sitting down, I'm about to record it for you guys. My heart is pounding. <sighs> Cause I'm just about to tell the whole world, basically, even though I know the whole world isn't gonna watch it, it will be available to the whole world to see my insecurities. It just make me very vulnerable. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna get through this video, whether I upload it or not, is another question. So I just thought I'll share this video because when you watch other people on YouTube and when you go on other people's Instagram accounts, it's easy to think that their life is perfect and they don't have any worries, they never have bad days and stuff like that. So I thought I'll come and do this video just to show you guys that I'm a normal person, I have my own insecurities just like you may have your insecurities and yeah, yeah. So as you can see, I have no makeup. I'm vulnerable to you guys. Wearing this, just an old t-shirt. I'm in some shorts as well, and I'm just chilling on my sofa. I think I'm gonna get into the first insecurity. And I think it's the main one, or the one that affects me the most, the one that's on show constantly, and that I've tried to cover up for many, many years. And um, it's my forehead. I hate my forehead. And right now, my hair being in a bun is just, Look, oh. I've always been insecure about my forehead because my cousins used to just say that my forehead was massive from when I was a young age. So it's just stuck with me. And now they're telling me that my forehead isn't massive. Every time I say, oh, I need to have this hairstyle because my forehead is massive. Or if I tell them, oh, does my hair look okay? Does my forehead look big? And they're like, you haven't got a big forehead. I was like, but why did you tell me that in the first place? Like it's completely just knocked my confidence, like just completely. So um, when I was younger and even like a few years ago, I would have a fringe a lot of the time just to cover up my forehead because I just hate it. It looks massive bloody hell and it's just out of proportion from the rest of my face unless there's a surgery that can reduce your forehead size oh my gosh imagine if there is okay so my next insecurity is let me move on to my hands because i'm showing my hands a lot in this video are oh, my hands um there's two things about my hands that i just don't like and i haven't liked for ages the front of my hands are quite wrinkly let me see if i can focus on my hands let's see yeah, I feel like the front of my hands are just really wrinkly. So I just hate to show my hands. I've gotten used to it now, like I just show my hands. Like that's one of my insecurities that I've sort of gotten used to and I'm not ashamed of it now, or I don't shy away from people looking at my hands. Um, another thing about my hands is that the inside of them are just like hard and rough. And it's not that I don't moisturize my hands. I do moisturize my hands. They're just hard. So like when I was in secondary school, the girl started to say started to say that my hands were rough because in secondary school you hold hands and stuff like that or in primary school as well you would hold hands and people would just say to me that my hands were rough and I was like oh my god like what am I supposed to do? Oh when I met Caleb we met um at prom he was helping me get out of the car and he put his hand out and I almost didn't take his hand because I didn't want him to feel my hands and how rough they were and then comment on them and then I'll just feel terrible. But yeah, all my like boyfriends before Caleb, I'll never hold their hands like ever because I didn't want them to feel how rough my hands were. Even if they held out their hand to hold my hand, I'll just act like I didn't see it and you know, we'll keep on walking without holding hands. My next insecurity, which I think will be the most personal, should I say? I just hate it. I really hate it. <laughs> is the boobies. I feel like I'm so small, my, my cup size is so small, that if there was a minus triple A bra size cup, then that would be me. I was so happy when I was breastfeeding and when I was pregnant because I had boobs then. Like, I was probably like a B cup or a C cup and I was so happy with that, going from a minus triple A cup. I mean, right now, you wouldn't think that I'm a, like a minus triple A cup, but this bra is padded to the max. This bra is probably 9% padded and 10% of my actual boob. So I think I'm the only one that really has a problem. I mean, people don't come up to me and be like, Oh yeah, show me these are so small. You're tiny boobs. They're like mosquito bites. What bra size are you? Do you even need a bra? I just feel that 
they're small for me. I mean, Caleb, who's like the only person that I should care about um, with his opinion, and I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but he's happy with them, okay? Let's just get it there. And so my other insecurity, what else? Um, oh, my stretch marks on my bum. Um, I have quite a few stretch marks on my bum, which before I was kind of insecure about and I hated them. Now I've sort of accepted them, but I still, um, are a bit insecure about them and especially when I was pregnant I got four stretch marks on each side each like cheek and they were dark they were so dark that got me so down like I'll cry about it but they're fading now thank god because I think if I if they stayed then I would definitely be so much more insecure about my stretch marks when I did have them I was crying because I was like oh my god I want them to wear bikini again and I love bikinis and Kayla would be like, babe, like it's fine, like don't worry about it. It just shows that, you know, you got a bit more junk in the trunk. Oh, another one of my insecurities is my hairline. Like, um, I feel like I have a guy's hairline. Like, you know when they go to the barbers and they want their like shape up? Like, I already have that hairline. A female's hairline is just supposed to be like round around their face. But like, I have this hairline, like it goes like this, it goes down and it has this and I sort of have long sideburns but i like my sideburns like i love my long my long sideburns but it's just my like hairline like why is it like that like why can't it just go across like that so like i have a big forehead and my hairline is just messed up like really okay yeah so that's all my insecurities well the top ones anyway there's like little insecurities that I wouldn't even say our insecurities because I don't feel insecure about them. So obviously they're not insecurities if you don't feel insecure about them. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know some of your insecurities that you don't mind sharing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see more of me. And all the subscribers that are out there and that watch, comment, like, talk to me. I'd love to hear from you guys. And just know that you're there. I mean, I see the views, but I just feel like, hmm, is that a computer out there just giving me views? Or are there actually people behind those screens? So comment down below. Let me know you're there. Even if it's just hi. Like, I'll be like, hi too, innit? That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Stay sweet. Mwah. Mwah. My forehead is going to kiss you as well. Mwah. <laughs>